Have you ever wondered why there is that nose at the tip of a ship's hull, just below the waterline? When a ship moves, it expends a certain amount of energy to push the water in front of it out of its way, generating waves that propagate along the hull. Among the different types of ship's resistances, this wave-making is one that causes the greatest drag. This is where the bulbous bow comes in. The waves generated by it destructively interfere with those generated by the ship's hull. Here we can see in green the shape of the wave generated by the bow of a ship without a bulb. In blue is the wave created by the bulb. You can see that it forces the water to flow over it, generating a wave 180 degrees out of phase with the one created by the bow. And in red is the resulting wave, which is the sum of the other two. The wave created by the bulb partially cancels out the bow wave, reducing its drag by up to 25%. It also increases stability and speed, and reduces fuel consumption by up to 15%, improving range. The bulb length defines the interference phase, which is the difference between the peaks of the bulb and bow waves, which should preferably be 180 degrees apart from each other. The bulb length is usually shorter than the tip of the ship's bow. Its volume is a function of the hull area in the middle of the ship and determines the width of its wave system. In most cases, the bulb is on the waterline, thus increasing the interference effect on bow waves. Generating this new wave with the bulb also requires some energy from the ship, but as the pressure along the hull is better distributed, the final drag is reduced. The drag caused by the formation of bow waves is more pronounced in vessels with high kinetic energy, which is directly proportional to both their mass and the square of their speed. For this reason, bulbs are more commonly used on fast ships, such as passenger and container vessels, as well as on large ships like oil tankers and bulk carriers. In small and slow ships, the resistance from the eddies generated by the bulb and the friction of the water on its surface increase drag more than they reduce it. The bulb design will depend on the vessel. This one, for example, is widely used in giant and wider cargo transport ships. And this one, shaped like a teardrop, is characteristic of narrower, high-speed ships, such as cruisers and passenger ships. Bulbs are now typically designed with a V-shape underneath to minimize the ship's impact on the sea surface in rough water, as this impact generates extremely strong forces on the ship's structure. In addition to helping to reduce drag, the bulbous bow also serves as a bumper in the event of a collision, being heavily reinforced and easier to repair or replace than another part of the hull. But this can also pose a danger to other ships, as it can penetrate the vessel's hull and leak hazardous substances. On many ships they are also used for sonar installation, so as to be well away from the noise of engines. It's amazing how a seemingly simple design can improve a ship's efficiency so much. Thank you for your company, and until next time.